What's up guys, my name is Dan, and a couple years ago I posted a video telling you guys how to listen to console and computer audio at the same time through one headset with one cable. Now, while pretty much everything in that tutorial is still true, going and watching it back is pretty painful. So what I decided to do today, because that video got a lot of positive feedback, I'm going to remake the video, add a couple details, tell you guys how to get the absolute best audio quality out of what we're doing here, and hopefully make it a little bit more bearable. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now, one of the first things I said on the last video is that you have to have a headset with a 3.5 millimeter jack. That is not true. You could use a USB headset, a Bluetooth headset, whatever you want. Personally, I do use a 3.5 millimeter. I have a pair of Astros and then a pair of Audio-Technicas, but again, any headset will work with this. All you need to do is be able to plug it into your computer in here. So the same exact thing goes as the last tutorial. All you're gonna need is one 3.5 millimeter cable. However, a lot of people, including myself, when we did this originally, we're getting a lot of feedback in the headphones. And after doing a little research, I figured out because of the way that we're using, which is listening through the computer to hear the game, you'll actually get feedback from your monitor. So if you run into this issue, what you're gonna need is a super cheap little, it's called a ground loop isolator. You can find these on Amazon and eBay for like 10 bucks. I think I paid $8 for mine and it worked great. If you put that in line with the 3.5 millimeter cable that we're, I'm gonna show you how to install in this video, all of the interference will be gone. It solved all my issues and like I said, it was like, it was less than $10 shipped, so really good deal. I'll leave a link in the description to the one that I bought. There's a couple that you can choose. I wouldn't choose the absolute cheapest, but like I said, don't go very expensive. Keep it like under 10 bucks. So first off, what you're gonna wanna do is take one end of just a regular old 3.5 millimeter cable and plug that into your monitor, whichever monitor that you're playing Xbox or PS4 on. Now to use this on the monitor, you're gonna want it to have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It doesn't have to have a microphone jack, but it does have to have a headphone jack. So if the monitor you're using doesn't have a headphone jack, you're out of luck, unfortunately. So what you're gonna do is run that cable from your headphone jack on your monitor, and you're gonna put that into the 3.5 millimeter microphone jack on your computer. Doesn't matter which one, just has to be into any of the microphone jacks. Now you should be all set, but if you're not and you still can't hear your Xbox or PS4, come into manage sound devices on your PC. You should have a certain amount of output devices that are enabled. Uh, some might be your monitors, speakers, something like that, but there should be one coming out of your sound card. Now, if you can't hear your Xbox still, go to the disabled section and look through here. Now you can see that there's a couple that obviously I don't want to listen to, which would be my microphone because I'd be able to hear myself, display audio, which is different, voice meter, which is a different program, and then real tech, which would be something else, but you might not have this. I only have that because of my specific setup. But if you can't hear your Xbox, likely in the disabled section, there will be something that looks similar to this or this, which you'll be able to then enable. So like if I disabled this, I wouldn't be able to hear my console right now whatsoever. But if I put my headphones on, and if I were to go here, which one is it? It's that one, and if I test this, I'm able to hear that right now, so I know that that's, you know, my Xbox. Now, if I were to enable, say, this one, and then test it, I can't hear anything, obviously, there's no sound. So you can do that test with your Xbox on and just move around the controller or something and make some noise. And if you hear something, you know that you've enabled the right one. And if you don't hear anything, you know that you've enabled the wrong one. So it is as easy as that. As soon as you enable the right input, you should be able to hear your console very clearly. Like I said, if there is any interference, I will leave a link in the description to a ground loop isolator. They're really cheap and they should solve your problem completely. So with all that said, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out. And I definitely hope it was an improvement from the last one. If this did help you, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate it. And also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.